Another exciting video today because today we'll be working on videos using Adobe Premiere. Hey, how's it going guys? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this time we'll be working on videos. We'll be using Adobe Premiere. I'll be sharing with you guys a fast panning transition effect in, uh, in Adobe Premiere. Um, you know, sometimes you're working on this two footages that they're not that exciting, but uh, just by creating a, an interesting transition, adding transition to it, it you can make this footage more exciting. And this time I'll be showing you guys how to add this uh, fast panning uh, transition effect uh, that is so easy to follow. So uh, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. So let's get this thing going. We have two uh, footages here. Um, the first one is this. Let me play this. Okay, then the other one is this one. Okay, so we're gonna put them together. So this will be our cut. Play the first footage, cut to the second footage. It's kind of boring. Sometimes we'll be in a situation where we need to work on a two boring footages. We need to put them together so we can create a nice transition effect uh, to make it more interesting. And one of them is the, the fast panning uh, transition where we can create it here's how to do it let me play again our two footages and there you go okay first thing we need to do is create a adjustment layer right here click click that icon and then adjustment layer yeah our uh, setting is uh, in HD 1920 by 1080 And let's drag this adjustment layer between our two footages here and then in between them let's uh, press the arrow key uh, five times to the left one two three four five and then cut our adjustment layer delete the excess adjustment layer and then let's go again to the middle let's go to the to the right one so one two three four five Maybe make it eight, six, seven, eight. Cut that. Delete the other one. So now we have an adjustment layer here. Okay. So to create that uh, panning effect, we need to uh, open our effects uh, window and look for offset effect. This is the offset. Double click that. Okay and then click our effect controls window and right here at shift center to horizontal uh, let's drag this to create that pan uh, going to the left there you go it's too much There you go. Okay, and then let's click the stopwatch at shift center to. Now we created this stopwatch and then it will bring our playhead back to the beginning of our our adjustment layer and press reset parameter. So what will happen is um it will go back to its original state and then if we move our timeline we'll see the yeah the animation okay so we can pull this all the way at the end of our adjustment layer and this one at the beginning of our adjustment layer so if we're gonna play this see the movement there you go You know what? Let's make this more more interesting by uh, doing a more extreme uh, animation. So let's go to yeah. Let's make it like uh, to move two frames with our offset. There you go. So 
So now we could gonna move our so it's, it has a two frame uh, animation. It will move two frames. Oop, there you go. And now we play this. Going to the transition, zoom. There you go. And to make this more interesting, uh, let's add a, a motion blur. Um, to do that, let's look for the directional blur effect. Go. And let's go to the beginning of our animation. Go to the directional blur. Blur strength is zero. Um, probably let's create a, oh, should be 90 degrees angle for our blur. Go. And then the blur strength be yeah, around um, 250. Or 260 here. 60. It's okay. Let's click the blur flag. Uh, let's click the stopwatch. And let's put this at the center of our adjustment layer. And then let's go back to the beginning of our adjustment layer and reset our blur strength, uh, the blur length. And copy this at the end of our adjustment layer. What I did, I just press the Alt and then drag it. So if we're gonna play our timeline, from zero blur at the middle, the full blur, and then it disappears again. And so let's play this. Let's see how it goes. Boom. Okay, and to make this more interesting, Maybe we can add some sound effects. Then it's this one, the rising symbol. Yeah, let's get this one here. There you go. I'm gonna put it down here. The thing is, our sound effects is longer than our transition, so what we can do is uh, we hold this um, people edit tool, hold it down, go to the rate stretch tool, and then drag that here all the way at the adjustment layer and also the beginning. Oops. Okay. And let's play our video. There you go. Do that again. There you go. And there you have it, guys. It's so easy to follow. Um, fast panning uh, transition effect in Adobe Premiere. Uh, yeah, if you guys want me to create more um, more videos about Adobe Premiere, don't forget to like that uh, like button down there. And then uh, I hope you guys will subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right.